we are here at the Novus Marine. Um, actually, this this is the Novus behind me, and then we got the sign wraps. Um, so whether it's a boat, your business, car, whatever, these guys could do it. So yeah, we're gonna get together with them. They're hopefully they're gonna put something together for our boat for uh, El Puro Channel EPC Outdoors. Um, and the idea is to get the wrap and to get our decking done here at the same place. These guys are awesome. You got to come check them out. Awesome, awesome crew. They do good work. And, um, you know, they've worked for a lot of the uh, local guides and captains and stuff. So they're a well-known, reputable shop. Uh, they're right off of Metro, uh, just a hair south from uh, Crystal, right in front of Sun Sunbelt Rentals. I got bonito. I got bonito está mirando o, o gris o color teca. Yeah, I like the teak. I like the original teak, but I also like the gray. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll talk to the boys in there and see what they think. My man Felix. What's up, George? What's going on, bro? Good morning. How was your weekend? Sure. Right. So I. So that's more of like a like a, like a tan, bay, like a tan, like a tan with a black, with the black. and it will look something like this. That's what I would like. So for you, floor resistant, non skid. That's the color I would go for. So well, that checks all the marks. I mean, you know. Blood wants to stain it. Um, yeah. If you get a couple of stain, it will it, it will match perfectly with the color. So you know, you can with it. But that's what I that's what I would recommend for your boat. And now, you guys, you guys got to keep in mind. You know, this isn't just put it in and and, and the stains magically disappear. You got to put some water on it. You got to wash it like you normally wash it. You know, your deck. Um, now this this is another tone brown. It's not the same. What's this? This is more traditional, yeah. dark wood looking. Yeah. This is more light wood. Got a little bit of a lighter, but I, I love this tan. That's what I would go with. I think I think you know I think you're on the on the money with that one, brother, for sure. I love that. And now for pattern, what do you want? You want to go traditional, or you want to go lines, or you want to go diamonds? <laughs> traditional. <laughs> I'm old school. You know, me and me and pops were old school, and and I, just something magical about those, you know wood plank lines uh, in a boat that just drives me nuts. I remember when I was a little kid over at, at uh, like a Hell, boat. Hellover Marina, we used, dad used to take me to Hellover Marina and the boys had the old teak hatteras and the ocean yachts and stuff like that and they're laying all the fish on the deck and it was just magical. So for me, it's something that you know I've loved since I was a kid. So definitely the teak lines, if it's okay with you. Yep, you no, doing? you choose. <laughs> You're the boss. You tell us and we make it to, to you. I think you made a great choice with this color. That's I really, what I, I really yeah. And I've been thinking all weekend on it, yeah, so I think, I think that's the color. It's, a, it's an amazing color. Well, guys, I mean, listen. And it's a high density too, so for you, so you could drop weight on it. Um, it's not like this is all full PE, you know, not as EBE as the other one. So okay. this is going to last you longer than the actual brown and black. Guys, don't wait any longer. Come see Felix, man. You know, he's got all the materials. He's very knowledgeable. He knows what he's doing. He's just not only does it make your boat look beautiful, but it also protects your deck and protects the boat. It's probably one of the biggest investments other than your house. You know, your boat is, for me at least it is. So, very important that you guys maintain it. One of the things that you could do to maintain it is to put some flooring, some decking on the uh, on the boat. Come see Felix, he's gonna hook you up, guys. Y, y habla que inglés y español. Ah, habla inglés. Cubano, que no tengan miedo. Inglés, español, inglés, cubano. Y aquí, aquí nosotros serviciamos todo el mundo. No se preocupe, pero sí a, a, a nuestros hermanos hispanos que tengan barco también, por favor. Si ustedes están buscando para hacer algo así, como estoy haciendo yo, así tengan aquí a The Novus Marine, a Felix. Ellos están súper equipados con toda la tecnología que es necesaria y les, les voy a mostrar la tecnología aquí para que vean qué buen trabajo hace y cómo to, todo queda de lo más bonito. Tienen bastantes colores, no, no tienen que irse con esto, como por aquí pueden ver. Tienen todo tipo de colores y todo tipo de diseños, ¿ok? Oh, chino, tú que estás ahora ah, remodelando sí. el, el, chino, el, el mago. That's right. I'm going to put some uh, fishing rulers on the sides for you guys. 
Yeah. So I'm gonna make it nice. pure fishing, Puerto Channel, and big logo on the back. I want your logo too. Yeah, I no, want, we're gonna I, put I, it, but I want I'll, everybody I'll, to know. Not, yeah, yeah, but like, like here, we could just like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I already have done the logo and yeah. um, cook. I, actually, I was thinking, you know, up in the front where I have that big fish box, maybe we just put it Puerto Channel logo up there. Uh -huh. And yeah. then I want to lay your logo back here. You know, most of our fishing is back here. You'll get to see that logo right, cool. quite a bit. So I'm, I would like your logo back here, and then maybe we'll turn off front. That way, you know, we kind of split it up halfway. The good thing is, you guys will see it 3D before it's even done. Awesome. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Will say, I will send you the pre design, and we can move it around, we can change it, we could add more stuff, we could put you know, whatever you want. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Well, I love the color. I think the color is going to work out. Anyways, guys. Put your comments below. Let me know what you think of, about this color. <laughs> I'm digging it. I think it looks awesome. Again, you know, I was going to a more traditional uh, teak look, but he pulled this out of his hat, and I'm like, holy shit, this is what I like now. So, yeah, and I think it's going to be nicer on the feet too, man. It's going to be a lot cooler, mm -hmm. lighter color, so looks great. All right, guys, so we are about to put the boat inside the shop, and what they do is they, they 3D scan the whole floor. Um, so that way they have everything they need in terms of measurements, in terms of you know the flanges that are sitting on the floor, so just a way to contour what the whole floor is. So that way, once they have that digitized, then they go ahead and, and cut the, uh, the piece. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna put the boat in the warehouse and they're gonna go ahead and uh, scan the whole thing for us. All right, so basically what he's doing is he's setting up this uh, real high-tech scanning machine and they're gonna digitally scan this whole boat so uh, that's here. He's still. How oh, that? You happy? You yeah. Excited? <laughs> Check it. What? What? He do. Alright guys, the next thing on the list was to work on the logo itself. Um, we worked on the font. Uh, Felix was able to download the correct font and match our logo perfectly and uploaded it to the machine so that the machine can cut it into the material. Guys, I just got the boat back from the Novus Marine, man. I couldn't be more stoked. They did a fantastic job on the decking. They did just a fantastic job. Um, but more than that, in my opinion, was just the uh, the customer service and the uh, just a warm welcome that these guys give you when you when you go there and get anything done on your boat. Um, it was just an incredible experience from the minute I walked in to when I picked up the boat. Um, it was like if I was hanging around with, uh, you know, with old friends of mine. That's how, how cool these guys are. And, uh, and they're really passionate. Another thing is they're really passionate. They are. They're passionate about what they do. 
the staff is passionate, you know, whether it's the installers or Felix himself. Um, they're super passionate about what they do. They love boats. They love what they're doing. It's not all about the money. It's about, you know, loving what you do. And they, these guys, in fact, do. And that's kind of like the feeling you get when you walk in there. So, guys, super stoked. Super stoked. So happy. I mean, I don't even... I don't even know how to describe it. You know, I'm not one to be fancy and I'm not one to do a lot of fancy things to my boat. Um, but it, it is something that, um, number one, is an investment. Number two is something that's going to benefit us while we're fishing. It's going to be easy on our feet, easy to keep clean. It's going to look good for years. And um, I think the boys just did an incredible job. So here it is. Here it is. This is like the centerpiece. It's so beautiful. we got a huge logo up front. I love that. I actually originally just asked him to do just this lid, but he went ahead and did the whole surrounding area. So that I think turned out really, really well. Yeah, I wasn't even, I wasn't even thinking right. <laughs> I asked him just do this, and he's like, "No, man, I got you. Don't worry about it." So boom, he threw this in there. Super beautiful. <laughs> I'm so stoked, dude. Oh my god, look at this. So these are the rulers that I'm talking about. Those are the rulers right there. Got his logo back here. That looks really nice. Love his logo. It's really, really cool. Guys, the Novus Marine, Decking Solutions. Got to check these boys out. And I got a ruler on this side for the Googans that fish on this side. I fish on that side. All these Googans fish here. So that's a ruler for them. And, of course, it runs up front and stuff. He said he's going to cut He's gonna cut some uh, pieces for here. And that's cool. Um, I, although I, there's there's a lot, this is like a real high traffic area back here with the baits and stuff. So um, that's probably going to get damaged. I don't know. And then another thing is I didn't want him to cut anything back here. And he put these pieces in too, man. Unbelievable. Look at that. Nice little pieces to tie the whole thing in. That was really cool. He didn't have to do that, but he did. Um, it went above and beyond, man. And, and just delivered a, an awesome job. So the next thing on the list is I got to replace these cushions. These are 10 years old. Yep. 10 years old and they've been used and abused so i gotta switch this bad boy up i got this guy right here that guy needs to be switched up and all the uh stitching's gone and um that's brand new actually my my, my uh, uncle celine cut this for me that's brand new but this one is old this one's worn out so i gotta redo this this one and uh Gotta redo this bad boy in the front. It's got some staining and stuff, so I'm gonna redo that. And I gotta get this cushion made. I used to have this cushion, but the sucker flew out. I don't know what the hell happened. I was going down the road and it just completely flew out. So I lost that thing, you know? And then I gotta polish the whole interior of the boat, everything. Gunnels, this back area here especially. That one's gotten a fair share of abuse. And the inside's gotta get polished. And then I'm gonna have the boat wrapped outside, so stay tuned. Got some upgrades coming up. Oh, and we did this up here. Holy shit, dude, do I love this. Yes, I've been dying to get this because uh, when we're out there and we're filming and we're you know bouncing waves and whatnot, I got the phone up here. Sometimes the phone slides off or the camera, if I place the camera up here, it slides off. So this is kind of like a non-skid. Uh, so I'm really stoked about having this up here. That's, that's gonna save me um, a lot of headaches with the equipment just falling, falling, flying right off. So really, really cool. So glad these guys did that. that. That turned out really well, and it looks looks great. Helps tie everything in. So I grabbed these pads. I'm gonna put these pads down because I have. Where the hell are they? Oh shit! Where did I put them? Anyways, I got these posts that go up here for the. Oh, here they are. For the. Uh, boat cover but these things as you can see they rest on the floor of the boat so I don't want to mess up this beautiful job so I'm gonna lay these bad boys down there with the material facing down like that boom and I'll put this right on top of that and hopefully that will save uh, the material from getting damaged and I'll put another one here in the front this one I think it's okay because this one only like I think it's in this area here, so that'll be fine. But the back one for sure, I don't want it to get messed up, so I'll put that there. But that's it, man. I'm super happy. Again, these guys did, did a fantastic job, phenomenal job, phenomenal. And 
and uh, if you're looking to get your uh, boat flooring done you gotta check him out man you gotta check him out he's got a uh, he's got a shop down Metro um, he's got a little showroom there with all the materials and everything you need and he's got his little setup with a computer so you can see it actually uh, you know before it gets printed and stuff you can actually see it and you know have an idea as to how it will look like and then after that it's just a matter of getting it cut getting your boat in getting it installed and remember you can't take it out you got to let it sit for like a couple days or whatnot so don't don't be tempted to take it out the same day because you can ruin it I know I'm tempted but I'm gonna let it sit and let it get uh, you know let it cure and let it adhere awesome awesome guys so go check them out, man. The Novus Marine. They're badass over there. <laughs>